with snow just around the corner. That means we could see some delays and closings. Legislation passed last year in Indiana limits Hoosier schools to three e-learning days. News 10's Blake Dollier tells us how one local school is adjusting its snow days. Patrice, officials at Southwest Park schools say fewer e-learning days actually helps kids learn better. In fact, they aren't doing any e-learning days, even though they're allowed up to three. Southwest Park schools are going without e-learning, even if school closes. Dr. Phil Harrison is the superintendent, and he says his reasoning goes back to the days of COVID. We learned during the pandemic the, the promise and the limitations of e-learning. And I think any educator would tell you the best learning situation comes from having students in the classroom. He says kids learn better with face to face interaction, and that's what he wants to make sure his students get. They can get nuances from how kids are responding to different activities to determine whether or not that they're understanding the content that's in front of them. And I think those are incredibly valuable pieces to the learning process. Harrison also says many kids may not have the resources they need to learn effectively at home. If we go beyond our flex days, then we add days to the end of the calendar year so that we bring students in uh, and have some good quality learning experiences with them at the end of the year. February 20th and March 17th are built in flex days in case school closes before then. In case this week's winter weather or any future storms force school closures beyond that, there's a backup plan. Most of our kids, we, we don't have connectivity or maybe we don't have the kind of supervision at home or, or the technology skills for all of our students to be online for at least 50% of their day with their teachers. I emailed a few other superintendents from around the area. While many weren't available, several said they're also eliminating e-learning days completely. Patrice, back to you. You can stay up to date on closings in the Wabash Valley by downloading the News 10 app or by visiting our website. That's WTHITV.com.